What is up, obscure mic people? Bark, adjusting headphones, coming at your ear holes yet again. Let me penetrate them ear holes. Ear holes, I'll tell you what now. Sometimes the Appalachia just comes straight out. But anyways, I felt like you guys needed some obscurity today. And that obscurity is the Sony ECM260F, which uh, is a little electric handheld dynamic vintage. No, it's not a hand. Jeez, bark. Call <laughs> what? It's been a long week, folks. ECM260F electric condenser microphone b-roll time for comparison's sake i'm talking into an se electronics x1a which is 99 bucks which is also a small electric condenser so you can get a nice little comparison to a hundred dollar mic versus this that you can find on ebay and secondhand marketplaces for less now the head basket here made of plastic doesn't really matter much to me this head basket anyways this is plastic this is metal. I happen to get one in really good shape, really happy about it. The metal is a tiny bit soft, but you'd still have to put some force on it to dent it. The handle is metal. Cool thing about this microphone, got your XLR port and this handle just simply slides down to reveal a double A battery port. So if you're using like a Tascam DR10X that doesn't supply phantom power, or you just want to use a cheap interface that doesn't have a great preamp, this battery will take all the work out of it for you. And it does have resistance. It's kind of magnetic, so you do have to pull a little bit to get that to come down. I'll spin it around the rest of the way so you can see that. But overall, I think this is a really cool, obscure mic that surprisingly, to my ears, doesn't sound bad at all. I actually would compare it favorably to the X1A and maybe something like the Lewitt LCT240 because it's a small electric condenser that doesn't really have any glaring, terrible sounds to it. Like it has a nice low end, pretty nice mids, and a, a top end that's not super bright, but is uh, there enough uh, there, uh, there. Sometimes I do stuff with my voice that pisses me off. The top end is there enough to make it legible and fairly clear this thing's been sitting in my studio for probably a year or more i forgot how much i enjoyed this thing not to mention i can hook it up to my dr10x which is one of my favorite devices even though i've got one coming to rival it that i'm really excited about but this is a really handy microphone you could even hook this up to a 3.5 millimeter jack or a quarter inch jack and because of the battery you're going to get pretty usable levels. Sometimes these old vintage mics with battery ports in them to throw a double A in can really be beneficial to your on the go needs and your, I have a shitty interface needs because this it's battery powered. It's got its own power source. It's like a transformer. Do they have battery sources? I don't even know. I grew up in the eighties and nineties. I have no clue for the fun of it. Let's throw some processing on the Vocaster one just so you can hear how good this thing really could sound. This is the radio tone in the Vocaster hub. And again, double A battery, vintage mic. If you look around, I think I got this thing for like 20 bucks, maybe even less. And I am actually really happy with the sound that comes out of it for that. 20, 30 bucks max, you could get this microphone and uh, start recording. Especially if you got like an Energizer lithium battery, It'll power this thing forever. I've had a Rayovac in it for a year and it's still working really well. All right. Clean setting. If you wanted the clean setting on the Vocaster hub. And this is the warm. If you want to add the warm onto the Sony 260F, this is what it would sound like. And if you think the top end needs a little help, this is the bright setting. So this would be kind of a, you know, modern day podcasty sound. And this is what it sounds like. Let's go to radio one last time. I just switched over to radio. This is a heck of a decent mic. Now, granted, let me turn processing off. Let's do that handling noise again. It comes through. You're not going to want to shake it much because that thing could come off. But, man, 
I really enjoy this microphone quite a bit. And it has a different look to it. It just looks cooler than a typical handheld microphone. Hell yeah. Let's do let's do those tests real quick. I almost forgot. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. When you get right on top of the Sony ECM260F. I can't believe I remembered that, but this is what it sounds like when you get right on top of it. Now I'm going to take the microphone. I'm going to go 90 degrees off. Ooh, baby. 190 degrees off axis. 180 degrees off axis. 90 degrees yet again and back around slowly to the front of the microphone. I thought maybe it was a step above cardioid, but it's a cardioid polar pattern. So this microphone, in my opinion, that you can get for 20 to 30 bucks on the BB saw, oh, baby, baby dinosaur. I actually think that it's a nine. I think it's great because the versatility, we forget about these kind of mics. And this is why obscure mics exists. Do you want a cheap handheld dynamic? to start podcasting, to start doing stuff. And by the way, this will take phantom power as well. You can take the battery out, throw phantom power in it. And it's, you know, you don't have to run off a battery, but I'm not running phantom power now. I'd rather have this for 20 bucks than a run of the mill dynamic all day long. The versatility is just killer. The looks are cool. Everything about it just screams like what this channel is all about. So I think it's great for those reasons. And I think it sounds perfectly fine on my voice. I would have no issues recording a lot of stuff with this. Doesn't mean it's perfect. Doesn't mean it's like knock your socks off. Great sounding, but you heard it with the processing on. <laughs> you heard it with the processing on. It was pretty good. And you can do that with something like a $99 Vocaster 1 interface. Link down below for that. Because it's just such a perfect little podcast interface for someone who doesn't know what they're doing like myself. <laughs> But up, up. All right, obscure mics. That's all I got for this one. Sony ECM 260F. Man, my memory's getting better. Must be this Jack Daniel's Southern Peach. Yeah. It's so fruity. Peace out.